and welcome to It's Storytime Kids. I'm trying out sitting in the back of the car today. I wonder if it might be a bit more comfortable and if it might be easier for me to hold the book up to you so you can see the pictures clearly. So we'll see how it goes. The Foolish Tortoise by Richard Buckley and Eric Carl. Eric Carl is of um, The Very Hungry Caterpillar and The Tiny Seed. So that's why the beautiful artwork looks so familiar. And this is The Foolish Tortoise. Oh, struggling to open the page. There we go. <laughs> that's the inside cover. The Foolish Tortoise. The Foolish Tortoise. A tortoise, tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go, took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed, twice as quick. Though faster, he was not express, and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept behind a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past. He looked so fierce and flew so fast, the tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind the knees. There he is, tortoise hiding from the giant bird. Weak behind the knees means he's scared, nervous. I don't feel safe, there's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up. The tortoise fled. He ran away. Ooh, big slithery snake. Along his way our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. We don't even see the tortoise on that page. He must have backed away really far. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat goggle-eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. A hare, a horse, a dog. Fuff, fuff. <laughs> oh, they've called it a hound, haven't they? A hound is a dog. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. He is not having a good go of it, is he, kids? The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches of the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. There he is. Oh, poor little tortoise. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel safe. I don't. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, he climbed back in and said good night. Oh, good night, good night. There's the moon. He looks much happier in his shell, doesn't he, kids? I don't think he'll be quick to get rid of that again. Oh. And that is The End of the Foolish Tortoise by Richard Buckley and Eric Carl. Thank you for joining me for this book. That's the back cover. Isn't that fun? There's the front of a tortoise with his face. 
And there's the back with his tail. It's like he really is in the book. Wow. Oh. Okay, thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed that one, kids. You take care now. Bye.